as you might have guessed it from the title of this video. Clip Studio Paint is great for creating character art. And in our video today, we will explore what CSP can offer in that domain. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Before we get into the specifics of character art in the software, let's take a brief moment to get to know the software in a general light. Clip Studio Paint is developed by Celsius, a Japanese graphics software company. The software is a graphics editor type. It supports both raster and vector graphics. Generally speaking, Clip Studio Paint is used for digital drawing. However, there are many branches of digital art that the software is used for. Okay, so we know the basics of the software, but let's get to know the concept of character art briefly to be able to understand if the software really supports the process of creating this art type. Character art, or sometimes concept art for characters, is the process of creating the visual representation of a character. Generally speaking, an artist is given the broad attributes of a character and then they draw them based on that, including elements in the design that represent different aspects of the character, such as their occupation, background, class, and so forth. Character art helps in the creative process by giving you the opportunity to explore a character's look and feel before committing. For instance, in video games, character artists create various versions of a character before committing to one version to be made into a fully rigged and ready 3D model. In this section, we'll only explore tools and workflow that are specific to creating character art in Clip Studio Paint. All the brushes of your dreams. In character art creation, there are many styles, from painterly to anime style. These different art styles are characterized by many things, one of which is the type of brush used. For instance, a painterly style would use a textured brush with blend-in characteristics, and an anime style tends to use a sharp, clean inking brush for inking and a solid, opaque brush for colors. CSP offers a wide variety of brushes that can be used for all of these different styles. In addition to the variety the app already offers, you have the ability to fully customize a brush and make it exactly how you like it. A lot of CSP brushes made by other creatives are available over the internet, as well as CSP library. Some are free and some are paid, but one thing is for sure, the variety is there. In addition to the variety of brushes, you have two important features that should make the line art process a no-brainer. These features are the stabilization and correction. Stabilization and correction help by eliminating the shakiness that plagues digital line work, especially if you're a beginner. This will make your line art look crisp, clean, and made with intention. Raster and Vector Usually Vector is kinda boring with its opaque hard edge brush that lacks any resemblance of a personality. In Clip Studio Paint, things are different. You can actually use vectors to create modifiable line work, but it looks like the wide variety of raster brushes. So, you get both the ability to modify the line art to get it looking right with a real pretty look. Three Dimensional Friends Creating character art can mean having the characters in interesting and intricate poses. While that sounds cool, drawing it might not be so cool. Finding the appropriate references might be even more uncool, oh my god. Well, CSP comes to the rescue with pre-installed 3D figures to help you figure out how to make a pose looking right. There's also a feature in beta that is really exciting. You can turn an image of a person into a 3D model. This can really help lift the limitations of having to work off of a picture. A world of color palettes. Having color palettes is incredibly important if you do repeat character art for a set of characters that need to have consistent colors. It can also be helpful for when you like to have specific colors saved for specific purposes. For example, different skin tones and their undertones. When it comes to this aspect, CSP offers you the ability to create your own palettes, create compositions of different colors, and add swatches and so forth. This should make it easy and accessible to get your preferred colors, without having to tediously try to find the reference for them, import them into the software, and use the color picker. 
All that trouble is whisked away. Colors a problem? No more. Coloring an intricate and detailed design of a character can be extremely tedious, and we know that rushing through a piece can easily turn it from your best work to your worst work in a matter of seconds. To save us all this hassle and woe, Clip Studio Paint offers an AI coloring technology, which essentially colors the different parts of your piece for you. What you need to do is place dashes of the desired color where you want them to go, and the AI will color them for you. If you find that the AI approach is not as precise as you like it to be, you can try the Smart Fill tool. How it works is that you pick your color and then run it across a certain part, let's say the skin of your character, and the tool will fill those areas for you. This works wonders for styles that use solid lines, like anime character art for instance. Also, fear not, this will also work if your line art is not completely closed out. You just have to tick a box in the preferences and the fill tool will do its magic. Color corrections. Speaking of colors, you might find that the colors of your character are lacking, but what to do? You have already spent countless hours choosing the colors carefully, placing them in the right spots, shading them, and what have you. Well, what to do now? Well, Clip Studio Paint comes to the rescue again. You can use the tonal correction layers in order to play with different color elements, such as the brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, luminosity, level correction, tone curve, color balance, and so on and so forth. This should help you fix the colors as much as possible without having to go back and tediously go through the coloring process again. Better yet, all of these changes are non-destructive, what that means is that you are making these changes on a separate layer from the layer where your artwork is, so that if you ever wish, for whatever reason, to go back to the original colors, all you have to do is delete the layer with the tonal changes and ta-da, no harm done. This can also be a great way to communicate with the client the different possibilities of an art piece without having to do much work and without spending too much time on it. Detail made easy. In CSP, there's a tool called the decoration brush. Essentially, a stroke of this brush will create a pattern. You can customize it to have a specific pattern. For instance, you can make it into a chain, a shoelace, or a braid. And now, you don't have to draw those every single time. Couple this with the previously mentioned AI coloring feature and fill tool and think how easier your life would be. Now you can easily explore different detailed designs without feeling overwhelmed. Effects of all kinds Add in a special little pop of color and visual effects to your character art can really take your work into the next level. Clip Studio Paint offers you a wide range of textures, outlines, and watercolor effects to add to your character art and make your characters pop. A workspace for you Another great feature in CSB is how you can completely customize your workspace to make it right just for you. This can work wonders if you use CSP for different things, like comics and character art, but want to have your most used tools and features as accessible as possible. All you have to do is customize them both and switch back and forth as needed. The different customizable elements are the palette layouts, shortcut settings, command bar layouts, and preferences. Customize those to your liking and you're all set. And that was that for our video. Would you use Clip Studio Paint for character art yourself? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. We hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. With that being said, thank you for watching as always and see you next time.